Nico yeah. Mannion, the point guard out of Arizona. So he, okay, so he has he has a lot of really high level skills. He's a, he has the potential to be a three level scorer. He shoots off the dribble. He uses floaters. He has good, decent handle, good footwork. Can shoot off the ca- catch. Really talented passer. Kind of sneaky hops too. Uh, the only thing with him, the only thing that's going to hold him back in the NBA is his body. He's not the most explosive guy. He's kind of got short arms. I think his his wingspan is shorter than his height, which is kind of yeah. weird. Um, very limited defensively for that reason. And also for that reason, the struggle is finishing at the rim and he shies away from contact, uses too many floaters probably, even though he's good at it. Uh, not an explosive first step. So the handle, even though it's decent, needs to get better if he wants to create his own shot and make his teammates better. And even though he shoots a lot of threes and his talent is there, he only shot 33% in college mm. from three. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm um, obviously that's going to need to improve. Yeah. Some team is going to select him and just hope he becomes a dead eye. Cause if he's not a dead eye, three point shooter in this yeah. league, he doesn't have a spot in this league. So yeah, he just has to work on shooting threes, maybe getting a little bit of more like muscle. Cause he's only one ninety right now at six, three, he can maybe fill that out a little more. But yeah, he just has to become a better three-point shooter and then he could just be like a bench three-point shooter that comes in and hits threes and just trying to change the dynamic of the game. Yeah. The thing is like he has some of the best guard skills really like in yeah. his draft. The passing and the and the the creativity and the shiftiness and everything. It's just his body like his, Yeah. Not quite as bad as Cassius Winston in terms mm-hmm. of the lack of explosiveness and size and everything because he's a little taller as well. But yeah, the first step is not there. So if he, he needs to extend his range, he needs to be respected from the three-point line if he yeah. wants to uh, make his team better and make him, himself better. Like you said, I agree that he's probably going to be limited to a bench role. But if the shooting develops, he's a good enough playmaker and has enough ball skills to be a really good bench player, possibly even maybe like a low-end starter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so my comp for him was Edwards from the Celtics because mm. I know he's just a rookie right now, but the Celtics have him on the on their team because they hope he could become yeah. a, a sniper from three. And I yeah. think whenever team picks up Nico, they're going to expect him to become a dead eye from three too. So mm-hmm. they're going to have a very similar beginning of their career. That's fair. This this is not a perfect comp that I have, but I was saying like a slower Goran Dragic with words finishing. He's not Goran Dragic is one of the best finishers at, of the point guard in the, in the yeah. entire league. That's but a the, horrible comp. <laughs> no, it, the size, the, they're the same size. Yeah. Uh, the shooting potential, obviously, because um, he has shown the the, the talent, um, the playmaking. They're both really yeah. good playmakers and the energy. Dragic is one of the most high energy point guards in the league, especially when he was younger. And Nico Mannion plays with that same level of intensity, running the floor end to end, all that stuff. Tries on defense, even though he's not that good. Yeah, the know. only reason I don't like it that much is because the second you say Goran Dragic, you think of that left hand finishing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if you just took Dragic and and just took away his that best finishing, ability. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's, a, it's kind of a perfect comp, actually. Yeah, if you take um, away Dragic's best ability, then yeah, I, then it's a good comp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen to the Stretch the Floor podcast on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, and follow us on Instagram.